Hello Criterion Collectors, we have some new announcements from Criterion for the month of July 2024. The announcements literally came out about five minutes ago, so I'm still sort of freaking out and processing some of these. There's a lot of exciting stuff here. We're going to get into it all in a minute, but this might actually be Criterion's greatest slate of announcements in the longest time. There's actually only one of these that I would recommend you not get and actually get a different version which is already available and much cheaper. So let's not beat around the bush, let's get straight into it. The first title, Risky Business, starring the one Tom Cruise, making his first appearance within the Criterion Collection, as far as I'm aware. Maybe I'm wrong, if I am, let me know in the comments. This is releasing July 23rd, spy number 1227, on a 4K UHD and a Blu-ray. This is a film I'm quite surprised to see getting announced from Criterion. It's not considered the greatest film of all time, yet it is an iconic early Tom Cruise performance. And without a doubt in my mind, this is going to sell an absolute ton of units for Criterion. So I'm excited for them, and I'm actually excited to see this on the 4K restoration, because I've not seen it in the longest time, and... I'm ready to revisit it. So it's a new 4K digital restoration approved by the director and the producer of the film, which could be a good thing, could also be a bad thing. You know, it's kind of a toss up these days. We also get the older audio commentary as well as some new interviews and a new discussion on the film with the editor. I don't know about you, but I'm quite excited for this one. I'm sure this one is going to ruffle some feathers because people will say, how can Risky Business be next to Kurosawa? or Bergman, etc. However, I am not one of those people, and if a big film release like this can help fund some of the other great exciting stuff, like on this month's slate, then I am all for it. Now what should we talk about next? Because we actually have six announcements this month, which is a great deal of choice. I'm going to go with Le Samurai, Jean-Pierre Melville's brilliant film with Alain Delon, it is one of my favourite films. This is an upgrade within the Criterion Collection, so it's spine number 306. I've got the old Blu-ray from 2017, so that's seven years old. I can't believe 2017 was actually seven years ago. But yes, we have a 4K upgrade of the film coming to the Criterion Collection with new artwork. They have got rid of this old artwork in favour of the new design. However, all of the old special features are being carried across with nothing new in that department. As far as I'm aware, they've only done this two other times where they've changed the artwork for the 4K re-release. They did it on Wong Kar Wai's In The Mood For Love and Jean Renoir's The Rules Of The Game. I don't particularly know the reasoning for changing the artwork on just these ones, but it gives us one reason at least to keep around multiple copies of the film. However, another reason that we may want to keep around the older copies is this is another 4K restoration that is a bit controversial. It's been screened theatrically. I think it has a French release and people are saying that the colors look quite different. This is becoming a regular occurrence. And if this 4K digital restoration that Criterion are using is the same one that is elsewhere, then I have to imagine the film will look different in terms of colors to the older version. The film is amazing though, very stylish, very cool. I absolutely love it. And it's been so inspirational to so many things since. So I highly recommend it. Next, something else very, very exciting. Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid coming to the Criterion Collection, spy number 1224 on 4K and Blu-ray. This film has long been rumoured and all but confirmed to come to Criterion for the longest time. Years and years ago was when I first heard about this coming to the Criterion Collection. And it's sort of surreal to see that it's finally here. This is one of those big ones I can tick off my Criterion rumour mill list. Now I consider myself quite a big Sam Peckinpah fan, yet this is one of the only films of his that I have not seen because I have been holding out for a good presentation of the film. And we get three different cuts on this release across four discs. You get the 50th anniversary release cut and the original theatrical in 4K, and you also get Sam Peckinpah's final preview cut on the Blu-ray. This is just an absolutely monumental announcement for me, because like I said, I've been stubbornly holding out to actually watch this, and 
I can't wait to finally see it. I'm not kidding when I say I'm a big Peckinpah fan. I have basically all of his films on Blu-ray that are available. And I'll actually just give you two recommendations for some great Westerns that don't get much love from him as such. We have The Ballad of Cable Hogue and Ride the High Country. So yeah, I can't wait for this. It does come with a higher price tag because you're getting those extra discs. So this is going to be a big release and I think a lot of people are going to be happy to see this. The next release that I'll talk very quickly about, and I mean quickly because I haven't seen this one either, it's Perfect Days, the new Vim Vendors film. And I have heard so much good stuff about this. In fact, this film is rated so highly on Letterboxd at an average rating of 4.3 that it actually still remains in the top 250 films on there, which is quite rare for a modern film because after the recency bias wears off, they sort of drop out of the top rankings. I've heard it's an amazing film, so I cannot wait to see it. And it's presented here on a 4K Blu-ray and on a Blu-ray disc as well. And it's a great thing to see this release because Vim Vendors is another one of those filmmakers that I want to have every film of because I'm just hugely inspired by him and his work. And, you know, it will sit with the big Vim Vendors Curzon box set on my shelf. So Perfect Days, spine number 1226, coming to 4K and Blu-ray in July. And then we have a fifth 4K title coming in July from Criterion, which is crazy, five in one month. And just a few years ago, Criterion said they had no plans for 4K. And some people at Criterion said they didn't see any point in 4K at the time. Well, clearly the point is you can make a ton of money off releasing these films. And the film in question is Farewell My Concubine from Chen Cage, which is a Palm Door winning film from the 1990s. And uh, this has been on people's want list for Criterion for the longest time. And we're getting it on a 4K disc, which has me very excited. I'm sure I'll be retiring my old BFI Blu-ray disc from many years ago. That is if the 4K looks good, which I think I expect that it should. It's getting a French release, I think, later this month, or maybe it's already been released. So I'll see what that kind of looks like, because that should be an indication as to what Criterion's version will look like. Farewell My Concubine is an epic film about art and everything surrounding art and artistic passion, and passion in general. I'm very excited to see it getting this 4K disc, just so more people will give this one a shot, because I think it is a great, great film. We're getting some special features as well. We're getting the making of documentary, which is on the old BFI disc, so this is being carried over. But there is also a new conversation about the film and an old interview with the director. So we can look forward to Farewell My Concubine coming in July, spy number 1228. And the sixth film that we're getting from Criterion in July, it's a Blu-ray, no 4K, is the film Blackguard White Devil. This is a Brazilian revolutionary underseen masterpiece that I really want more people to give a shot. And I'm hoping that the fact it's getting a Criterion release is going to open it up to larger audiences. So I highly, highly recommend this film and please do give it a shot when it is released. However, you might not want to wait for this to come out because there is currently a version on the Blu-ray market that is from the same 4K restoration with many of the same special features. And it is this copy here. This is the UK release from Mawu Films produced by Radiance Films. And it is a region free disc, so it's not locked. So no matter where you are, if you're in the US, you can play this. And I pretty much guarantee that you can get this cheaper than the Criterion disc. Even if the Criterion disc is on sale, this often runs on sale. And even with shipping costs to the US, you can get this cheap. Like I said, it's the same 4K restoration. You've got the same audio commentary with the restoration producer. You have the same documentary on the director, Glauber Rocha. Inside, you have a booklet. You've got a reversible sleeve. So I think if you're not fussy about hanging on for the Criterion Edition and paying more money, then this version from Maui Films and Radiance Films is an absolute no-brainer. So if you're thinking of checking out this film, then I would say get this version. And I'll include some purchasing links down in the description below uh, to where you can get this. So that's Black God, White Devil, coming to Blu-ray in July, spy number 1225. What an absolute stacked month from Criterion. And I reiterate that this is the best slate I've seen in the longest time. But do you agree? 
is there anything here that you're interested in? Anything here that you think, ah, I'll just pass on that one? Because I'm always interested in hearing your opinions to see what people are actually wanting to pick up and get from Criterion. If you would like more Criterion videos from me, just click the one that's presented on screen right now. I'll give you tons more recommendations in that video. Until next time, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.